welcome back to open math school today i am going to discuss with you an mcq based discussion on headache we'll start with a case so history of a 30 year old male who came with severe headache that woke him up at 2 am 4 am and 6 am every night he described his pain as hot poker behind his right eye and his right eye is filled with tears and his nose becomes stuffy the patient was afraid to fall asleep because of the extreme pain the options are one this is cluster headache b trigeminal neuralgia three migraine d cerebral venous thrombosis the correct answer is cluster headache so cluster headache is a severe type of headache belonging to the trigeminal autonomic cephalgias the pain is extreme and sometimes this may lead on to suicidal tendencies and is called suicidal headache This is characterized by unilateral headache lasting 15 to 180 minutes and can occur up to 8 times per day it comes episodically the attacks are always associated with autonomic symptoms on that same side and the sensation of agitation and restlessness in contrast to migraine where patient prefers to lie quiet cluster headache is more common in males whereas migraine is more common in females the first line abortive treatment is intranasal oxygen or subcutaneous metriptan and sometimes neuromodulation is also done the first line preventive therapy is verapamil but close monitoring is required when you are giving verapamil because it can produce cardiac problems there are different emerging therapies which are either proven efficacy or possible benefit in cluster headache they include drugs that aim at the calcitonin gene related peptide so these are the basic things you should remember regarding cluster headache so as mentioned cluster headache is a side lobed headache that is it is unilateral if when you get in a unilateral headache always exclude secondary causes a neuroimaging may be required and when the pain is anterior and side locked autonomic symptoms are ipsilateral and agitation and restlessness is present it comes under the group of trigeminal autonomic cephalgias so this is the a side locked symptom autonomic symptoms can be congenital congestion lactimation the pain lasts less than 10 minutes short lasting unilateral neuralgiform headache with conjunctival injection and tearing sometimes the short form it is called short lasting unilateral neuralgiform headache with conjunctival injection and tearing so this is a short form sometimes used the pain 2 to 30 minutes and sometimes it responds and it responds to indomethacin is called paroxysmal hemicrania the pain lasting 15 to 8 180 minutes recurrent episodes nocturnal headaches are present cluster headache the pain is continuous and responding to indomethacin is hemicrania continua so among the trigeminal autonomic cephalgias one of the very important thing around 20% is due to cluster headache so different types of trigeminal autonomic cephalgias we have discussed so this is the approach to a patient with unilateral headache now we go into management of a cluster headache acute management is 
two drugs. One is the high flow oxygen and second is subcutaneous sumatriptan. Oxygen can be given at a rate of 5 to 15 liters per minute. Other drugs which can be used are one is the sumatriptan. 6 milligrams can be given. The maximum dose per 24 hours subcutaneously is 12 milligrams. Sumatriptan and other triptans like solmetriptan can be given intranasally but high flow oxygen. So two drugs, one is the triptans and second is high flow oxygen. 7 to 12 liters per minute. Some people say 5 to 15 liters. For 15 minutes, reduction of pain is seen in 78 percentage. Non-invasive vagal nerve stimulation can be given sometimes in some episodes of cluster drug, especially when they are not responding to medications. Then there is a called something called bridging therapy. That is, this is given along with the aborti therapy. The drug is usually given is prednisolone. 1 milligram per kilogram body weight, maximum of 75 milligrams per day can be given. Then comes the preventive therapy. The, the preventive therapy which is well known, accepted is verapamil. So verapamil is given a starting dose of 80 milligrams, 3 times a day, that is 240 milligrams. It can be increased up to 960 milligrams over 4 weeks. AC should be taken before starting and may be repeated. Remember that you can produce constipation, peripheral edema, bradycardia, conduction abnormalities. So that is a, and there is a potential drug interaction with the drugs acting, metabolized through cytochrome P450. Lithium has also been shown to be effective. This uh, calcitonin G related peptide inhibition drugs are sometimes used, topiramate and melatonin can start 4 milligrams daily for one week increase 4 milligram every week a typical range which is used is 8 to 10 milligram so melatonin is another pro prophylactic drugs are verapamil lithium calcitonin related peptide inhibitor and the most important point to be remembered regarding headache related to trigeminal autonomic aphalgias is, is a unilaterality and the pain is usually in the ophthalmic division and there are th different theories are there one is the trigemino vascular theory second is it may be related to the parasympathetic reflexes via the spinoparatine ganglion and third is some problems with the hypothalamus. So these are the three theories related to one is the trigemino vascular inflammation, second is the parasympathetic spinoparatine reflexes and third is there is dysfunction in the hypothalamic level. So these are the points to be Remember regarding cluster headache. Hope it was useful to you. Stay tuned. Thank you.